Now, our next performer has made a name for himself both as an actor and as a comedian. You could see him every week on the hit television series Barney Miller. He's been appearing in concert all across the country. He is special. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Landisberg. <laughs> Oh, my God. Introduced by Dick Clark. I feel like I should be on American Bandstand. I feel, I really, I, I want to sing. I want to, I want to be a country singer like George Burns. You know, I, you, no, do you have a note? They just had a country music award show. They have them on every week. I they do. Look at a TV guy. There's one every week. I think they make them up. And now for the best song written on a Thursday. Get on in here, Gaylord. And I love their lyrics. Their lyrics are just... Wonderful lyrics. I love my cow, and my cow loves me. That's why I'm in the penitentiary. Thank you. Thank you. There are no Jewish country singers. I, I, I tell you, I was at the Country Music Hall of Fame in Nashville, not one. You'll never hear a guy go, she left me, she took the tractor. <laughs> just not gonna hear that, forget it. I mean, you just... There's no way you're gonna hit it. My wife is a big country uh, fan. She's, uh, she's from Atlanta, and uh, actually I met her in Atlanta, and we got married in Atlanta, Georgia. We had a wedding that was, her crowd was a little different than my crowd. I mean, her people were, well, it's just those balloons and those, it's just so festive and those flowers are just so precious, makes my heart flutter. <laughs> and my crowd was a little different. You know, it's New York, and. Hey, Marty, where's the shrimp? <laughs> Little different crap, thank you. I lived down there with my wife, of course. We stayed down there for a while, and it was... I love accents. I love southern accents. Actually, I love all accents, but it, there's something about... And I can't figure them out. I don't understand why, because we're from certain regions of the country, we talk differently because we don't start out that somebody got off a boat. I mean, I don't care if it was our parents, grand, great-grandparents, somebody got off a boat from somewhere else. Did they, just, they didn't just get off the boat and go, well, well, here we are in North Carolina. <laughs> Doesn't work that way, you know? Oh, thank you. Thank you, I'm humble, thank you. What a crowd, I'll tell you, what a crowd. <laughs> My daughter, I have a, we have a 21-month-old daughter, she has an accent. I swear, she, does. she loves to watch tapes, and her favorite tape, she has a Japanese accent. She watches We Sing, but she calls it I Sing. And I say, what do you want to watch tonight, Elizabeth? She, I Sing! And I, I figured it out. My wife and I were in Tokyo when my wife was pregnant. So that's how it happened. I know. And you know how it is when you're pregnant, ladies. You know that when you're pregnant, you don't want to eat certain things. We were in Tokyo for a week. She didn't want Japanese food. All she wanted was fast food. We went to Wendy's four times in Tokyo one week, and I could see the people that worked there looking at us, because, you know, they <laughs> <laughs> said, Stockholder. <laughs> I know it. I know it. <laughs> but she's great. I mean, she's so cute, and she... There's something about a little girl when she puts her arm... They know what to do when they're little babies. I mean, she puts her arms around my neck, and she kisses me and says, Love you, Daddy. Whatever she wants. Five cars, anything. You know, whatever she wants. <laughs> but I, I try to cut down on the road now because of her. I, we go out, I go out, I do a lot of colleges, and uh, I don't do as many as I used to because of her, because I don't want to leave that long. But the fascinating thing about you do colleges, every college has a football team. And there's always a guy named Moose. There's always a guy named Moose on the team. You never hear a dentist named Moose. There's always a ball player named Moose. And no one ever names a kid Moose at birth. Although if you think about it, if a guy's a jock, wants his kid to be a ball player, it's conceivable he could say, uh, you know, years later the kid's named Moose, and years later the kid grows up. Hi, Moose Mancini. <laughs> thank you, thank you. The other thing, the road, Chinese restaurants, wherever you go, every little town in America has a Chinese restaurant. How do they get there? How do they get to every little town? I figured it out. There's a direct line. Guy's packing his family up in Shanghai. I said, okay, pack up. We go to the route, Minnesota. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Steve Lattisburg. <laughs>